guess I started when I was about 16 in the south of France in Bordeaux, just for a bit of crack, you know. I saw, I always saw guys doing it on Grafton Street, and I always thought, you know, we could do that. It looked like uh, something good to be doing, fun, people making money out of it. So, just kind of ended up doing it in France with some friends over there when we were over there for a summer. And I just kind of came back and been doing it pretty much ever since, on and off, you know. It's you know? so kind of like a love-hate affair, you know. Sometimes it's out of just to exercise some demons, and sometimes it's out of necessity. You've been broke, or sometimes you just want to play music, you know. It's not. It's kind of different to being on stage, you know, because you can just. Some people want to hear you, some people don't. You can just go and play, you know. It's pretty cool. It has its ups and downs, I suppose. You know, you meet lots of people. Met lots of performers through it and played with lots of different people, lots of really good people through it, you know. And, uh, that's really been like a great thing, upside, and formed some good friendships through it as well. Just through playing on the street, you know, it's like a circus, you know. But then uh, I guess it's got its downsides as well, you know. You've got to deal with the cops coming over to shut you down or threaten to arrest you. I've even had a cop threaten to take my instrument away, you know, take my guitar. Yeah, dealing with junkies. A junkie came up to me and told me to play Wonderwall once or something. I said no, and then so he came over and kicked me. <laughs> Didn't really dig that. Um, yeah, it's cool. I don't know. It's got its ups and downs, but generally I like it. That's why I do it.